Dennis's body of work is impressive, including over 250 major stunts on the hit TV series Greatest American Hero and this 152-foot world record face-first high fall. Today's stunt is a device called the Air Ram, a powerful and potentially dangerous machine that will hurl Dennis nearly 30 feet over a barbed wire and concrete barrier and into the pool. You're basically giving a human being muscles that Carl Lewis would kill for. With over 1,200 pounds of compressed air driving the ram, hitting the launching platform in just the right spot is crucial. One wrong step or bad angle could break his leg or fling him off target and into real trouble. So in other words, if you're going to hit the air ramp, you better hit it right. Once I plant my foot right here, I'm committed. Let's go with the 1,200 pounds, and that should get us about 10, 11 feet high away from the bomb and into the pool, OK? But uh, that's the one. Let's count on that. And uh, let's start uh, rigging up for the effects. The second deadly twist to this stunt is the high energy pyrotechnics simulating the grenade blast. Nearly 20 pounds of explosives will detonate only three feet behind Dennis. That's the equivalent of three howitzer shells at his back. We need radios off at the moment. Can we pass the word to turn radios off for me, please? All radio off. All radio off. Certain frequencies of the production walkie-talkies are capable of spontaneously detonating the delicate explosives. Dennis isn't the only person on the set at risk. Only Roy the test dummy has no worries. Max is hot. Add a little more fire and, and cork and a powder explosion and uh, it should give me uh, a hard lift into the pool. Making Dennis look like the explosion caught him on fire requires another element of danger, a full body burn. Like he doesn't have enough stress to manage, he'll be doused with flammable liquid and torched. But this is the point of no return. This is where I'm lit on fire. This is where I'm gonna be running down my ramp, concentrating. And right about now, if you're not excited yet, you better get excited because about two feet later, it's time to get blown up. You can get bruised, you can get burnt, you can drown, all in one. Our Stuntmasters crew triple checks every aspect of the setup, but there's never a guarantee of total safety. Dennis must deal with the biggest and potentially most lethal risk he faces. For some reason, the air has a misfire, which is the only shot to get me. I'll be in his ball wire, which means I'll be burning. So you guys got to come in and put me out, OK? With the stunt just minutes away, Dennis is fully aware that an air ram misfire could trap him between the fiery explosion and the cutting barbed wire, a blaze with nowhere to go. He safely completed over 5,000 stunts in his career, a record he doesn't want to see go up in flames. When Stuntmasters returns, Dennis Metalone steps up to the firing line. Hollywood stuntmen crash through a replica of Beverly Hills. Holly Burst and horses around for the stars. And an elite squad of aerial stunt flyers pushes the limits of possibility for some outrageous high-speed maneuvers. It started out as a blind date, moved on to a case of mistaken ice. From the early barnstorming days to the Thunderbirds, stunt flyers have always amazed us with their thrilling aerial action. And today, this unique brand of precision pilots are flying higher and wilder than ever. has rehearsed his air ram stunt as much as he can. Our television crews are standing by, and it looks like it's time to go. But with all the preparation, this stunt looks just as hair-raising as ever. So we got two eight ounces and Napoline, and I'm on fire. The air ram, the barbed wire, the concrete, and I'll probably drown. We got it all. Okay, let's do it. Dennis Madelone's humor is likely masking some deep soul-searching. He's minutes away from the trickiest air ram stunt he's ever attempted. Once he starts his approach to the air ram, uh, God forbid he should stop or he could be seriously burnt. 
It's down to the final preparations. A special coolant gel under his protective clothing offers Dennis an added measure of safety from the flames and intense heat. Ironically, the gel that could save him from being burned could also cause him to slip and disastrously miss his air ramp. It will gel, my, will gel out my face and back of my neck out there, let's say a minute, Fire. minute Fire. drive before you go. 20 pounds heavier in his slippery gel-laden suit, he'll need total concentration to hit his mark. Go ahead. Just give me a, an inch bigger on that. Are we ready? ready? Let's go. Once he's lit, Dennis only has 15 seconds to complete the stunt or abort so that he can be extinguished by the safety crew. Any longer than that can cause serious burn. The barbed wire is the last thing he wants to get tangled in if the air ramp fails. Everything has to go right. Dennis, we're rolling camera. All right. All right, we're rolling, roll camera. Okay, camera, we don't get free. We don't breathe. Plan it. Plan it. When you want, you want to get rid of it now, Dennis? Anytime. Okay. Dex is hot. You're on You're fire, fire. fire. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Nice job. Dennis said this would be the most hair-raising air amp stunt of his career. As he and stunt coordinator B.J. Worth go over the replays, you can certainly see why. Um, right about here, I'm, you know, as you see, I'm torched up and I'm burning really good and I'm running toward the air ramp. I'm weighing a lot more because of the gel on me and uh, it's making it slippery, but I plant my foot perfect. And as you see the bombs go off, I'm in the air, I'm kicking, I'm screaming, and right here I'm just so happy to know that I'm going to hit target. There it is. Let's check out the side angle on this one. Yeah. Right here, again, I'm, you know, torched, running down my plank, trying to keep straight, thinking of the air ram, the fire on my back, the Napoline, it goes off. And as you see the side angle, I'm starting to clear the bob wire, I'm clearing the concrete, and just about here you can almost see me smile like say, ah, I'm going to get the pool. That's great. Let's look at it underwater now. Okay. Now, out of nowhere, you can just see the explosion, and then there I appear and making a chest and head contact into the water. Now, I'm going to stay in the water for about three or four seconds because I was really feeling the heat, and I wanted to make sure that the uh, substance burned off me before I came up. You just wanted a little break. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, you know, I was hot, so I was looking to cool off. Yeah. Good job. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot, man, and uh, thanks for having me aboard. All right, thanks. Okay, thank you. Fantasy stuff. 